Hey friends, this is Atif Hope here. Well and welcome to the new update on Kusama Coin. Previously, I shared a few patterns with you. One was this uh, harmonic bullish reversal pattern that basically I shared at uh, Patreon for my members on 24th of June. Another one was a big falling wedge pattern. Let's have a look at this pattern first. And this was a big uh, bullish harmonic shark move, uh, which was formed on the two day chart and the price action was moving in the potential reversal zone or buying zone of this harmonic shark move. And now I'm ju just going to play the chart and you can see that the price action reversed bullish from this potential reversal zone. So far, it, tra uh, it has reached up to $353. And after this pattern, I also shared another chart at the Patreon and that was uh, a comparatively small time frame chart and that was another shark on the two hourly time frame this was on the two day and this was formed on the two hourly time frame chart this was a, another shark move and after playing the chart we can see that the price uh, price line reversed bullish from here and even rallied beyond the sell targets i defined and rallied up to 353 dollars now Let's have a look at the live weekly time frame chart. And this was the falling wedge pattern I was talking about. And I told you that every time the price line after getting rejected or getting bounced by the support of this uh, falling wedge, the price line is hitting the resistance of this falling wedge pattern. This is really very big falling wedge. You can see this is on the weekly time frame. And this time, if the price line will reach here at this resistance of the falling wedge, then we can expect it can hit up to $380. However, this time I'm also expecting that the price line will break out this resistance of the falling wedge you, because you can see that it is getting more and more squeeze. And when the falling wedge pattern gets more squeeze, there are chances that the price line breaks down or break out the resistance. And if we take a look at the different oscillators I've placed here, you can see that this time, uh, uh, since the price line has entered this falling wedge pattern, this uh, big falling wedge pattern, first time uh, the, this stochastic was in the oversold zone and it has given the buying signal, like this blue line has crossed up this orange line from the oversold zone, therefore, uh, there are very strong chances that this time the price action will uh, break out this resistance of the falling badge. And you can see that we had a very powerful rally from this support up till now. And there is a very small distance now to reach up to this resistance of the falling badge. And as the, this oscillator is coming from the oversold zone and it can visit the overbought zone this time again, Therefore, there is a strong probability that it will break out this resistance of the falling wedge. And you can see that this is the MACD indicator. Uh, previously, it was very, very strong bearish. It was giving us uh, very, very strong sell signals. Now, we have received the first buying signal. This is the weak bearish signal, in fact. And you can consider it as a first buying signal because when it turns very, very strong, uh, uh, bullish it, it it turns into green color like this so it is gradually turning bullish more and more bullish and soon it will be turn strong bullish and i am expecting that it has just started turning bullish therefore it can also break out the resistance and take a look at this directional movement index after a long time period this blue line uh, previously it was in fact traveling above this orange line but for a while uh, it, it crossed down this orange line and now again we have received this bull cross or buying signal because this orange line has again crossed down and this blue line has again crossed up. This is the positive directional index and this is the negative directional index and when this blue line crosses up this orange line that is a buying signal. Now we need to wait for this ADX, this pink line to start moving up because when this pink line will uh, will be moving up, that will be showing that now, at this time, the bulls are buying. The, their, the buying is powerful because whenever we have the orange line above the, the blue line and this ADX moves up, at that time, it shows the power of sell and now it can show the power 
of buyers and you can see that now it has moved sideways and soon it can move up and we will see very soon a very strong buying very powerful buying now let's take a look at the four hourly time frame this is the small time frame chart and if i connect all these candlesticks uh, then you can see that we have found a very very nice and strong support and the price line from here and here has found a very very nice support we had a bounce the price action for, uh, formed a a higher high and we had another bounce price line formed another higher than previous high then we had another bounce the price action formed another higher than previous high we had another bounce and this time the price line formed very high and again we are having another bounce by this support and you can see that uh since uh, 23rd of july this trend line is breaking as a very very strong support and it has become a market structure for the midterm time frame for uh, ksm or kusama coin therefore at this time we can expect that the price line has already uh, as it has already taken bounce by the support therefore it can form higher than previous high so here we have a kind of broadening formation because every time after getting bounced by this support the price line is forming higher than previous highs now this is very important chart that i have already shown you in my previous video as well this is the ichimoku cloud on the daily time frame and you can see that the price line was moving under this cloud since after 16th of june and the price line in fact it was entered here back in, after 21st of may and it was not able to uh, break out this cloud you can see that here we had some candlesticks out of this cloud but uh, the candlesticks failed to get out and move down under this cloud again this time we are again getting out of this very very strong resistance of ichimoku bearish cloud and this is the lagging span and you can see that the lagging span is still moving in the cloud we need this lagging span to uh, to cross up this cloud like previously we had uh, the candlestick crossed out this ichimoku cloud here and the lagging span already crossed up this ichimoku cloud uh, broke out this ichimoku bearish cloud here and then we had a very very nice rally very big rally and the price line used this cloud even these moving averages the conversion and the baseline of this ichimoku cloud as a very very nice support in here after uh, march we had a drop the price action uh, broke down this cloud but here we again the candlestick is, has again crossed up this cloud and it is testing you can see that the price line is testing the previous resistance of the cloud as a support but we need this lagging span for it the final confirmation of this breakout from this Ichimoku bearish cloud the cross of this cloud as soon as possible this bearish cloud we can see that the uh, candlesticks are out of this cloud that is quite a bullish gesture and a very very nice signal that the price line can start now the next rally towards the upside and you can see that this cloud has also turned bullish so for the future it is giving us the bullish signals but this lagging span is still moving under the cloud and we need to keep an eye that on the on the candlesticks whether on the daily time frame uh they will uh, they're using this cloud as a support and now they can have a jump from here they can have a bounce from here or they can re-enter in this cloud if we will have a bounce from here and soon this lagging span will also move out from this ichimoku cloud like previously it was moved out then we can have very very long term bullish rally from here so this was the update so far i hope that you have liked the video then do hit the like and do subscribe to the channel as well and for more ideas you can also support me at the patreon i've shared my link to join me here in the video description you can find there take care goodbye